So welcome to another video guys, my name is Daniel and this is my wife Fanny. Uh, the last time we, uh, I showed you the cooking pot, no so, sorry the cloth. And uh, that's gonna be the second, uh, the shelter pot, then the cloth pot. And then we're gonna have the cooking pot on top. And uh, uh, what we have here is... Uh, uh, mostly the food we are going to wear, I think, I know, I'm not sure how much is not sorted out, but it's, it's pretty much, I think, food for, for five or six uh, days in here. Uh, we're probably going to do some changes when the times come, but uh, most of the, the dry, our dry meals and and stuff that my wife is going to carry. We're gonna see uh, provide how this this is. So this this is basically a Dyneema bag uh, that my wife my wife gonna carry on the top part of the bag, and it, it has a lot of uh, um, um, this uh, mango coconut cashew uh, bars that are pretty pretty good. Uh, we have some other than uh, water uh, energy drinks, uh, the same uh, green belly meal to go but with uh, another flavor. We have some pineapple foods, uh, uh, very good uh, dry meals actually. We have also some dessert, vanilla dessert. I, I don't think I'm even try that. Mousse de chocolate and Things that doesn't take too much uh, space, though we can probably do a bit better job with uh, with this. But uh, it's a bit too early to um, to figure out the food yet. But uh, anyway, we have some some of this ready. Uh, and we can do some minus changes, like adding eggs. We're gonna have some eggs. Probably some tortilla, uh, tortilla um, bread, and um, what other thing you mentioned? Pancakes. Pancakes, yeah. We're gonna probably try to do to bring some of that. Uh, originally, we I wanted to bring the the fishing rod, but I figure out it's maybe I get to use it once, and the thing is when I gonna do fishing I'm gonna using use a lot of time fishing and then she have to wait uh, she has to wait if if uh, she want and don't want to fish and probably is, is a is a thing that we should uh, just leave at home so we decide I decided actually to not be in the fishing world um, so uh, this is the cooking pot and some items are, this is basically a, a cooking set for two persons, I could, if I was uh, one person I could probably bring even smaller than this, but this can give you uh, options if we decide to for example make those, the pancakes uh, or bread. Uh, we can actually make that in this set, this type of set. So for what, what I'm bringing is the Nima uh, Hyperlite and this, uh, compared to the other ones, are this is the small version of the large. Um, my wife is uh, gonna show you later video. She's bringing basically the same type of uh, Dyneema custom. This is only for food, uh, just, uh, she's gonna bring smaller one, but she's not gonna be uh, carrying any cooking stuff other than the food. I'm gonna be carrying this because this is pretty heavy, I would say. No. <laughs> eh? No. <laughs> okay? Yeah, well, it's not, it's, not, it's not super heavy, but it's... Uh, this is more heavy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's more heavy, yeah. So, uh, the cooking stuff is also uh, a thing that we. I have some other things I, I might be using up that is not related to cooking. 
Um, and then I have a little bottle uh, that I'm gonna bring. Um, uh, my wife's gonna be bringing the other big variant here. See this one with the Sawyer squeeze filter for her, and I'm gonna be bringing this small one here. The small one is actually for the bidet. Uh, this is just takes a list a little uh, less space, and I want to be using this for the bidet if we need to use that. Uh, my wife is just a simple port uh, bottle with a, a normal uh, cap and you can put the uh, Sawyer squeeze that is um, I think it's, it's not the Sawyer squeeze it's the Sawyer micro actually the one you have but basically you can drink from it and you can yeah this is a good filter uh, and, and then the, the one I'm gonna use is uh, the Grail um, um, is basically the same thing. We really don't need uh, filters in Norway, but uh, the thing is that I have a very bad stomach, and I I can I, I can get a bacteria, and I don't want to be using uh, Imodium, and uh, then she gets the same thing. So <laughs> I I'd rather be more safe with the filters than not having the filters um, then, then you never know where, when you will find water so uh, the Grail compared to the Sawyer Micro is pretty clearly the same I think this has a li little bit less capacity than a normal bottle uh, but then again this also can filter out viruses and it's pretty pretty easy to use. I, this is more of an international uh, thing to go if you are going to travel. Uh, I would probably bring this on, on a Camino Santiago as well. <clears throat> I would probably filter my water in, in one of these. So that's, that's our water system. And then the, the cooking pot or pod um, we did some changes here. <laughs> this is the extra water capacity, but uh, normally I use this for peeing. <laughs> so this, <laughs> this, this is not this is not for uh, water, but it can be used for water other things. Uh, I have washed this is not pee, but. <laughs> <laughs> Just an extra, uh, if we need to be carrying a lot of water for uh, a long distance and mostly also for peeing at night, in the middle of the night I don't want to stand up so this can be used and the girls can also use it too because I actually got got the, uh, the recommendation on a YouTube outdoors girl that actually used this and I think wow that's a thing I must also have but uh, not a really must have in Norway as well. Okay, um, then this is a trash bag uh, for um, uh, all the stuff from the dry meal so we can throw it in here and we're going to go from one cabin to another so we're gonna just um, uh, keep this as a little trash bag and we're uh, gonna clean this out every time we come to a uh, 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 cabin okay so this uh, next item is a wind board uh, this is an uh, item that is really not a must-have uh, but regarding uh, gas and the might be very cold uh, we want to preserve as much gas we can uh, because I think we're only going to carry one uh, on this side perhaps two and we're going to use it quite a lot um, so I, I decided to get a wind shield because this might serve as a, a good uh, thing to preserve the, the, the gas of the, the stove. Uh, 
and I, I liked it because this can actually be, be used as a table as well uh, for food or whatever we want to use it for uh, I could probably leave this at, at home though but it's, if it is very windy I'd rather have this with me not it's not a must have but uh, I think I'm gonna take it with me because sometimes uh, it's difficult to, to actually light the, the stove so that's the, the windshield okay on um, uh, I, I did build a little cozy with reflective material for this export from C to summit uh, it's basically a, a I don't know uh, one how do you, you think it big it is funny three liters one liter one and a half perhaps two maybe Two and a half. Two and a half. This is, uh, is big enough to have um, uh, to boil a lot of water, and you can because it's titanium underneath. Uh, it's going to get cold pretty quickly, and that's why you want to put the boiled water on the cozy pot as well. Uh, in Jotunheim, and uh, training trip that we have, we. Actually, we caught uh, a trout uh, and we fried the inside here, I think, mm -hmm. yeah. We, we fried inside here and that's why you also got a bit messy on the bottom. But it can actually serve us as a, as a frying pan as well. And for pancakes and bread, I think this is going to be great. This is not a thing, you kind of fry Pank, make pancakes uh, and fry eggs and stuff in in other th when, when it's like this is is actually possible so and it's perfect for bread because you can use the yeah this one and it will be big <laughs> a big bread <laughs> yeah it will uh yeah, but yeah I have to cut half yeah uh, I think it will with the with the stuff so it will uh, get bigger yeah inside uh, so the only con about this is though that this might, it might get burned, so we have a backup. Fan is going to carry his uh, her cup. Uh, so uh, the lead from this is a bit messy to to actually uh, pour the water on top, so we need to be a bit careful when we do that. But uh, I think it's super super good. It's very lightweight, and it can be packed if if you need to do that. And all of, uh, all of our, uh, it has some measuring uh, uh, cups and um, safe fuel here. One and a uh, one point two liters, mm -hmm. uh, one point three liters. So it's, I think it's a very good uh, pot to have actually. So um, so that's gonna be the pot uh, X pot from City Summit. Um, Fanny has her uh, titanium cup, but I don't have a cup, so this is gonna be where I drink some coffee, uh, mostly. Uh, it's a regular silicone cup, also from sea to summer, but this also have a lid. This is good because sometimes I could be real uh, messy and I make go over this and um, I need to be careful and this is good that it has a lid as well, so that's that's good. If we're gonna make pancakes and fry eggs we need to wash uh, these pans uh, so we can boil water and that's why I'm also carrying some soap for dishwashing. Uh, a little scrub this time because last time when I prepared the, the trout it got really messy and I couldn't uh, take out all of it with uh, with this uh, uh, light load um, little uh, cloth. Uh, so this time I get bring a scrub because this one doesn't weight anything anyway, any fit. So this is all mostly for for scrubbing, washing, and and drying it uh, afterwards. I'm gonna bring a little lighter, uh, just a normal lighter bright color so you see if you lose it um, that's it 
And what I'm going to uh, bring is going to be my uh, titanium, um, like my flower, spork and, and spoon. It's good enough for me. Funny has a, a bit uh, longer uh, one. Uh, so I think this this is my good uh, thing. Uh, we did two changes from the uh, last uh, ex, uh, training in Jotunheimen. Uh, we used the rocket pocket, the pocket rocket to MSR stove, and we switched to this. Um, compared to the MSR, uh, it's a, a bigger uh, mass. It for, for the pan is better because this is bigger um, and the pocket rocket it, it was smaller so this this gonna provide that the export gets um, faster warm warming out um, another pro of, the, of this stove is that is silent compared to the pocket rocket because as you hear the pocket rocket compared to this is gonna be more more silent and that's a good thing especially in the morning when you wake up you want to warm some coffee and you want a silent stove you don't want that that is very annoying uh, for, for a stove especially if you spend a lot of time outdoors so this is one of the few that actually are si silent and that, that was a big pro for me <clears throat> um, you can actually fold it down. It seems reliable enough. It's from Optimus. It's, it's, its name is the Optimus uh, Crux. And uh, it came with, uh, I think this I bought separately actually, but this is only for not tipping the pan over uh, because if you bring, uh, give me the pan. This, um, if you don't, if you put a lot of water in the in this uh, pan over here, you risk the you risk of this go uh, uh, moving. So it's very uh, important to have the feet for it. Um, another feature that this tool has that the poker of didn't have is the cover the cover for uh, this uh, it's not too much of a cover really but it, it protects the bottom and the bottom on this uh, kind of gas cans uh, when you fire it up and you when you are on altitude it's gonna be, be colder when you fire up the stove uh, so what this does is that it also gives you a warmer feeling it, is, it doesn't uh, move around so much, it doesn't rust, because you can actually see there is some rust here already. So it doesn't rust so much on the bottom and it, it, it gives you more uh, gas. Uh, I think it's the propane that doesn't freeze, uh, so it gives you more... Uh, more um, gas uh, when there is colder outside so that's that's a good thing to have um, for this uh, the gas candle this is empty because uh, i'm just uh, bringing you to to give you the example that's, that's just, just uh, an, an example. example we need to buy this when we come uh, to the hotel uh, so it's important that we don't forget that because <laughs> Otherwise, we're gonna start walking without gas, so it's gonna be important to to have this with us. Okay, funny. The last thing we're gonna show is the the thing that is not um, really a part of the cooking pot, but I choose to have it there because this might be a thing we need to to use, uh, and this is mostly like my little back that I move around all the time when I'm outdoors because then I don't forget things uh, when I'm uh, outside. So it's big because also this is packed for 
Not only across Norway, but we also is packed for El Ar El Ar Los Arvergues in Camino Santiago, and when I'm doing uh, things, so uh, if something happened to uh, next week when I'm out camping or when I'm in, in the Arvergues, so we are in across Norway, I can be sure that I have in, this in here. So it's more overpacked than normally what you need, but. Uh, <clears throat> the things that might get used so, so one of the the things that is for el albergue is the drying line uh, this is a, a a line extra line uh, with some stuff where you can dry your clothing this is probably not a thing we're going to use on across norway though a line might get broken then we have an extra line here but it's probably not a thing we're gonna use on across Norway. This is mostly because I have to have this in Albergue in Camino Santiago. So I'm kind of packing for that trip as well in, in here. <clears throat> in the last camping video I actually used this because my my puffy jacket got super wet. Um, one of the most common thing, especially when me and Fanny, we are going to walk with uh, trail runners, is that you can twist your feet. Um, yeah, actually my son and I was talking about a lot of that today when we are walking and showing his first hammock outdoors. Yeah, we're actually t talking that the most common, most common, um, um, injury you can have is twisting your feet so this only provides you with your support um, it, and it's good to have though me and Fanny are working with walking sticks uh, you're probably not gonna need this but it doesn't weight anything and surely I have twisted my feet before and you had some injury in the last training as well mm. so it might be maybe a good thing to, to have. Uh, if we get uh, after four days of walking, Fanny has the same thing in blue. I have these ones. These are from nylon. Is this in this nylon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, nylon gel insoles. You have the gel here. And this, what, it, what this does is that can provide you with more support uh, where you are if you are getting plantar fasciitis or pressure damage on your foot underneath you can put this on i've used this on the last expedition and on every knee megan that i walk i have uh, uh, been wearing this nylon so this is a most thing to have because <clears throat> i had a lot of pain in knee megan when i didn't have those Okay, because I cannot use uh, tape, uh, I have some uh, gels uh, that can be cut to uh, put on the finger, uh, so prevent blistering. If the Injinji socks that I'm going to use get uh, broken, uh, or I need to switch to the Ulvan Super or waterproof socks, I might use this, clip this, um, like we have it here into smaller I think I have one small here yeah I'm gonna clip clip this to the size of this and I'm gonna separate my toes with this because it, this is very easy to, to to pull out of the of the foot without having the the glue from the plaster uh, the Leuco tape uh, so for me that has uh, irritation skin, uh, uh, an allergy, is a must have for me and surely Fanny can use it as well if she decides she wants to use this instead of the Leco tape that uh, we have. Okay, a little anti-back uh, here, I'm gonna carry two of those. Uh, the knife we're gonna use now. Uh, I was able. I was about to have a bigger knife because of the fish, but I decided to drop this. This knife is super small. This is the only thing you need for a trip like we are going to have. Uh, we can clip 
uh, and do some food with this. Uh, we can uh, repair some stuff with it. We can uh, file the nails a bit shorter. Uh, it has a, a tall, a little uh, saw. It's important to have that, especially when you are dealing with the feet, because you're going to use them. Uh, a little tick if we get something inside some place and a little toothpick as well so that's the Victoria Knox uh, mini if we sleep beside in albergue especially or cabin if we decide to sleep in a cabin then we have some airpods uh, we call in Norway Sovi Iru airpods uh, with a little container uh, if we sleep beside a river and she kind of sleep or I snore or you snore <laughs> then, then we have some airpods uh, but I think in, in albergues uh, we're gonna need that, that especially yeah, yeah. yeah I'm gonna throw this away actually now this is my toothbrush I'm not super happy with this I'd rather have a, a bigger toothbrush but uh, yeah it, do, it does the job some fluff, uh, tooth fluff, I think it's called. Um, uh, medical repair kit, uh, medical repair kit actually. Medical kit, um, this is a um, uh, sterilized needle uh, for especially blisters. If you use a uh, bindage, you have to be very careful how you deal with the warmth and uh, and uh, and the needle because I see people sterilizing the needle with uh, with a lighter, but they they can get infected anyway. So it's actually better to use a, a proper needle to get out the the blister to puncture the blisters. Uh, so I would r recommend that instead. It doesn't cost much uh, in the pharmacies as well. So uh, alcohol pad pads, some burn gel if we decide to make some bonfires and stuff. Uh, burn uh, burn gel. Uh, um, some some yeah about the same, just bigger. And some bigger patches. I think I actually need to fill this with normal uh, band, uh, band aids there. Okay, this is the repair kit for both the tarp, uh, my backpack uh, with Anima, and the tent. And we have some seeing kit and mosquito. If if one of the tents gets broken, we need to repair it on the field. And this is what we're gonna use then. Uh, these are uh, uh, mosquito. Uh, Napkin. tissues napkins yeah, yeah. yeah I, I really don't like the sprays, uh, sprays anymore so we're gonna use this as well as the clothing we're gonna use our spray with permethrin uh, so this is for for the skin basically so we have like four of it I um, don't think we're gonna need more so, so after a long walk uh, we have a corkology um, massage ball this is good uh, when we are resting, taking a break for uh, some days. Uh, it can provide you with some pressure points. Um, yeah. We can play ball to each other if we want as well. <laughs> we are bored. Yeah. Uh, this is for um, uh, actually washing the clothing on the field, actually. It serves as an extra bag as well. Uh, I don't think this is very meant to be using for uh, biodegradable soap uh, but we are going to have cabins as well so probably we're going to wash some clothing one of the days so we're going to use this as, as a washing uh, powder and this is also of course for Alberga El Camino Santiago the next year as well so I'm, I have it there 
Okay, the next uh, pocket here, some strips, small strips. Uh, this is some food protection stick before uh, you are going to walk, so keep the actually the food fresh and not sweating. Uh, is keep it dry and fresh, uh, and he actually provided with some deodor, uh, some odor, some good odor as well. So it's actually a good, uh, uh, good uh, thing for your feet actually. Especially if you are if you have dry feet and you're gonna to uh, sp spricke, um, have some very dry skin, it's good to actually use this uh, spray before walking. Here are the pills, cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's uh, another painkillers. <laughs> uh, it's painkillers, uh, imodium. I think I'm gonna add here as well allergy pills, ebooks, paracetamol. Yeah, we need to just go over this before heading out, but I think it should be enough actually. We actually had to take, uh, you take a paracetamol and I take a paracetamol on our three day. Uh, training <clears throat> because I was hurt on the knee and you were hurt on the back or something mm. like that. This is our my uh, toothpaste tablets. Um, some complain about this. I find it okay. Uh, these actually are biodegradable, so it's not a problem to actually spit it out in the middle of uh, water or something like that. Uh, it does take a little bit of water or spit to actually make um, uh, clean, clean, yeah, mm. toothpaste and clean your feet. But um, I'm, it's good enough for me for for uh, eight days. I think it's a bit less messy as well actually to use this. I think we need to replace the bag anyway. Extra carabin crook if you want to. Put some dry clothing uh, on the back, or, or I don't know, something uh, on the back uh, of the backpack. This uh, lock is mostly for the Albergue El Camino Santiago next year, but uh, you never know. There might be something in the airport we need to lock. Uh, so this is my my little lock I wanna will be bringing with me. Um, yeah, doesn't require a quick. Uh, I'm actually gonna ditch this, but this is Vaseline in a little tic tac uh, box. Vaseline is basically good for many things, uh, both uh, starting a fire with, you can also use this as, as the foot protector thing. Uh, you can use this on your hands. Um, it's, it's basically a, a thing that you can do a lot of things with. So. But the thing is that I actually have something similar that is called uh, Lars Monsen Sore Salbe Skin, skin Balm. They basically function the same as the as the Vaseline, but uh, I think it smells a bit better. I actually do use, yeah, it doesn't smell as shitty as Vaseline actually, so, but it's basically the same thing. And I got this uh, later actually uh, compared to the Vaseline thing, so it's been there, both of it. Uh, from Lars Monson as well, Lars Monson is a very outdoor celebrity here in Norway. Uh, sunscreen. Uh, 30 is pretty white so if you're gonna look like a snowman when you are using this but uh, it's a good thing to have some protection because out to, up on the mountain can be yeah, one thing that could ruin your hike is to be sunburn uh, across what you're uh, wearing the, the backpack or something so we're definitely gonna bring a little um, a container of uh, sunscreen and sun protection 
uh, compared to those very big sprays and, and nasty bottles that cost a lot of things I would rather bring this especially in Spain I'm gonna use this as well Whew. Tiger bomb <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is uh, the red uh, one, this especially after a l long hike, uh, tiger balm is, this is the thing that smells of all of this stuff here. It smells quite a lot, but um, uh, and when, especially if you, uh, yeah, tiger balm, you know tiger balm, this can also uh, uh, protect you a bit w uh, against mosquito bites as well. Um, it's good to have um, uh, and that's why we're also gonna bring things to wash clothing uh, afterwards because when you use this on, on clothing it's gonna smell quite a lot uh, this uh, this is the Osprey roll wash roll I think it's called I, I don't think they actually made them anymore but this follows with a, a mirror and it has a little hole here so it's very good to actually signaling uh, signaling uh, used to signal if you need uh, help from an helicopter you can actually you uh, use the mirror to 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 guide where the reflection is you use you use the, the hand here to reflect it on your hand so you have control of where you are reflecting and then you use the, the circle to actually point against the helicopter to have more control. Apart from that is also so, uh, of course a very good if Fanny want to do makeup or have something in, in her eye or something like that or me or I want to shave because I, I also get very irritated uh, if I let it grow too much I need to shave and then we can use the, this mirror uh, vitamins good to have uh, pocket body wash to actually wash ourselves uh, after a long distance hike and uh, stepping into the sleeping quilt and tent this is good to have these are biodegradable as well then we can actually use these for washing clothing I think as well this little hook here is for the, the albergue, it's the same on this, so this is only a spare one. Uh, if my stepfather does go and bring, go with me on El Camino, forget one, I have one extra. So this is only to f uh, hang the, the bag. A little shaving uh, uh, for me or her. And this is also a thing that you really don't need to have outdoors, but like I say, it's also for albergue and you have to have some level of hygiene on, in albergue when I'm going to do the Camino. So this is a natural deodorant, doesn't smell ecological, you just put a, a little bit on under your arm so you don't smell like shit uh, after, <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> Or you can actually use it on your um, shoe, just if, if the shoe smell, just put a, a bit of this inside the, the shoe, uh, so it, it removes that stink from, from your, uh, yeah, from, uh, from your shoe wear. And, um, yeah, just a little notebook, I'm not planning on writing a diary. Or anything, but uh, I don't know it might come in handy. I might get really bored and I try to to write something and could come in handy one day. I don't know. So that's that's basically what is going to be on our cooking pub. Um, I hope you like this video guys, uh, the next video I'm gonna do, hopefully it's a camping video, I couldn't do this this time due to my son that was uh, sick, our son, 
Um, and then I'm going to start showing you the electronics we are going to bring in this video because I think it's the last video and then it's your turn uh, but you're gonna do a, perhaps a bit more simpler mm -hmm. instead of going in detail uh, yeah um, and the tent we need to show you that as well there are probably gonna bring uh, give to us this month actually uh, Nur tent um, and we're probably gonna mention a few things before we head up uh, how long is it now to uh, two and a half months two and a half months so it's yeah I think I think we are scheduled on this we have uh, we are practically ready and can't wait for it so Thank you for watching guys, see you next video, bye.